Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Notion just launched Notion Calendar, a game changer that syncs seamlessly with Notion and Google Calendar. Picture the perfect blend of Notion's organizational magic and Google Calendar's familiarity, all in one sleek app. No more juggling, just streamlined planning. Let's dive right in. This app is not just a schedule keeper, it's a dynamic hub that syncs seamlessly with Notion, Google Calendar, Google Meet, Zoom Meetings, Arc Browser, and many more. You can effortlessly working across time zones, utilizing built-in scheduling tools, and fully integrating with your Notion workspace. Connect multiple calendars, overlay team schedules, and get a quick glance at your agenda, all in one place. Notion Calendar is designed to be your one-stop solution for seamless scheduling and collaboration. Notion Calendar is now available on Mac OS, Windows, and iOS. The Android version is not available yet. Okay, let's kick things off. Firstly, navigate to the Notion Calendar website, as shown on the screen. Next, click on the Downloads menu and select your operating system. In my case, I'm on Windows, so I'll choose the Windows version. After downloading the file, simply open it and proceed with the installation on your computer. It's a straightforward process. Okay, let's go ahead and launch the Notion Calendar that we just installed. Upon opening, you'll be prompted to sign in using your Gmail account. And there you have it. Your Notion Calendar account is now set up. If you already have a Google Calendar account, simply click the Connect button to synchronize your Google Calendar with the Notion Calendar. As you can see here, your events and meetings from Google Calendar have been seamlessly incorporated into the Notion Calendar. All right, now we have an example task management database. Let's integrate it with the Notion Calendar. Go to the Notion Calendar, click on the Connect button within your Notion workspace, and follow the prompts to establish the connection. Great, now your Notion workspace is connected to Notion Calendar. The next step is to show your Notion database. To do that, click on the Show button. Our task management database isn't visible yet. This is because the Notion Calendar only reads databases displayed in the timeline or calendar view, and currently, our task management database is in the table view. Therefore, we need to return to our Notion database and incorporate the calendar or timeline view. To add a calendar view, you can duplicate the current table view and change it into calendar view. Alright, for the project database, we can add a timeline view where we can see when the project begins and end. Now, let's go back to our Notion calendar and see whether the database is now visible or not. As you can see here, the task and project databases are now visible. When you click on it, it will show your task deadlines on Notion calendar. You can also change the color of your task database here. Great! Now let's add the project database as well. Given that our project database is showcased in the timeline view, it will be reflected in the Notion calendar as a timeline. This allows you to easily visualize the project's start and end dates. Notion and Notion calendar feature a two-way sync. This means that any changes made to the date on Notion calendar will automatically update the date on the Notion database, and vice versa. You can also open your task details from the Notion calendar. In this instance, we have our Second Brain Pro template, and our goal is to link certain databases with the Notion calendar. Okay, in this example, 
we try to connect our task database to the Notion calendar. However, it's worth noting that you can establish links with other databases as well, as long as it includes a date property. The first thing we need to do is to create a calendar view for this task database, as explained previously. Okay, now we have a calendar view of the task database. Let's navigate to the Notion calendar. Next, let's click this Show button and search our second brain task database that we have created. Perfect. Now our tasks database is linked with Notion Calendar. It is quite easy and straightforward, right? Keep in mind that you have the flexibility to include multiple second brain databases in this Notion Calendar by following the same steps. All right. That is a short video tutorial of Notion Calendar and second brain integration. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. If you have any questions or want to share your Notion tips, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.